Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this lovely pencil case here. Now this one is a version without needing a sewing machine so I thought it would make it a lot easier if we used a pre-made base and then enhanced it to make a lovely pencil case. So not only do I keep my pen in here but also of course you can keep your crochet hooks in there and the zip works really well and of course yes you know tassel had to be done had to be done. So let's start with the tutorial. So what do you need for this project? Well I am using King Cole Cotton Soft it's a really lovely cotton and it is 100% cotton so that's nice to work with. There are some lovely colours there and these are the pastel colours that I am using at the moment. So there's lemon, iris, blush, mint and celery and I'm really loving the combinations I can make with those at the moment. Then you will also need a darning needle and scissors and this is a DK yarn so I am using a three and a half but it is prescribed for a four millimeter hook so use the hook that you usually use for DK. Then I have here a few uh, pencil cases. I bought these back in January when I made the granny square bag. Um, I use it as an inside pocket in my bag and I thought, you know, it was a pack of 12 or 6 or something like that. So I thought I must make use of more of them. So I thought a nice pencil case would be lovely, not only to keep my pencils in, of course, but also my crochet hooks. What else? <laughs> so this one has a blue zip and I thought that would go well with my colours here. So to make this a little bit better than what it is, because when you are going into this, this will sort of collapse. I am also using this here. This is the foam stabiliser that I use quite a lot. It's called Bozal In R Form Plus. You will find it in the Amazon shop below this video in the description box. So this one is a fusible foam, but I'm not going to be fusing it with an iron this time. So I have cut a piece of foam stabiliser that is sort of twice the depth of my pencil case, so I can just fold it round like this. So there is no sewing involved. So using this um, pencil case, which is pre-made, um, will mean that you don't need to use a sewing machine. We have made a pencil case before where we made everything, so also the inside, the zip, and then I used my sewing machine. But of course I realized that some people don't have a sewing machine, so I thought using these pre-made ones uh, will sort that problem. So once again, I'm going to put this around and this will just stay open. It will be encased in the crochet. So. We will have to attach everything to the pencil case and that is when I will be using my thread here and my needle to just quickly go on the top and attach everything together. So what else do you need? You will need a couple of granny squares. So I'm making four granny squares of one, two, three, four, five rounds and that just works out that actually it is just about the size of the front of my pencil case. So I have a little bit left here and a little bit left there and that's plenty for crocheting it together. So I have already attached these three granny squares and I have made another granny square here. One, two, three, four rounds. The fifth round is used to attach the squares together. So I am assuming that you know how to make a granny square. If not, I will link a video here. So I have now made my fourth granny square, one, two, three, four rounds. I'm now going to do the fifth round with you and I will show you how to attach it. So here I have attached them on one side each time. Now we are going to attach it in such a way that I attach it on this side, but also on this side. So we close the sides of the case. So let me show you how to do that. So let's get started on the fifth and last round and of course that's the round where we are going to be attaching it. So make your slip knot. Then I'm going to get started on the top here. I will do 
part of the side here and then I'm going to attach on the second side because of course normally I would do most of the sides before attaching on the last side but here because it's both sides that we have to attach we have to make sure we have two sides that we can attach so yarn over insert in between the clusters and make your first double crochet and then make another two so clusters of three double crochets and of course I'm using normal granny squares but you can if you happen to have some other granny squares already made you can use those as well just attach four of them together and see how big they are to fit around your pencil case of course there we go so this is my side done now here for the corner I'm going to do half a corner so that means doing my three double crochets and one chain and then I'm going to bring over my cover that I have already prepared and this is of course how you're going to attach these sides as well so you're going to go into the chain space wrap your yarn around bring it through and do a chain there we go and another chain continue with the corner so three double crochets and now that you've done those go over to the other square and link it in and I like this way of attaching because obviously it creates another bit of you know uh, area of your granny square so your granny square gets a row bigger and at the same time you are already joining so there's no separate yarn needed for joins and off we go again doing our clusters in between wrap the yarn around bring it up and do a slip stitch there we go There we go, so we've done the corner again, continue here on the next side after of course we complete this corner. And here I'm going to start doing my corner again. Now of course for these ones here I just continued and finished the round. But we are at the stage here now where we have our four squares. They are big enough to go around, let me put that there, around my pencil case like so. So now we're going to make this join here. Okay, so just start doing. So this is the three double crochets for the corner. Chain one and we are just going to join the next side. There we go. So into that corner. And let's join these two sides. That way we have made a sleeve for our pencil case cover. Of course make sure you have all your squares with the good sides on the outside. And I'm going to continue And I had great fun putting the colours together, seeing which colours I hadn't used yet together. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was actually quite a quick project as well. I made all these squares in one evening and then uh, spent a little bit of time putting in the ends. So yeah, it was quite enjoyable. I would make a quick present as well there we go certainly if you already have these pencil cases that's a good base to start from and of course the foam stabilizer does make a difference so here we go doing the corner voila 
chain one and continue your corner and of course that will then mean we have finished the round there we go and now we're going to go under the first V that you see there tighten it all up and do a slip stitch I'm just going to do an extra slip stitch to secure my stitch there so there we go so we have now connected this last square on both sides here there we go and of course we're going to have to sew in the end but before we do anything else I'm going to try and assemble it again just to see that it all fits and the crochet has to stretch a tiny bit which is fine there we go look at that now this is quite blue this is quite pink so I think I might just move it about so it's less pink and less blue <laughs> okay <laughs> right let's get started on making the actual base here so take off your cover make your slip knot insert your hook there we go and just looking at the top of your work here find see here just go into that corner chain space and do a single crochet because that will get us started there we go and then find the inner loop of this one and the inner loop of the first one there you could just do both the loops but I'm thinking I like that little ridge on the side to be still showing let's have a look and see what it looks like like so voila so you go all the way to the other side and then here on the joint just see what you can do where you can get into I think this yeah there we go and then here as well again the new squares just try and find the inner loops to go into and we've passed the joint there we go so I will meet you at the end of the row here I just tried to find sort of the last two little loops to go into and then here one in the chain space just the way we started. So that is the base of my pencil case and now let's have a look at how I'm going to do the top. So here we know we need to add a little bit of height so make your slip knot, insert your hook and let's get started in a chain space there. There we go. And then now I'm going to pick up the back loop because we did that on the base. So I'm going to do the same look at the top as well. So I've made it all the way around. I'm just doing one last one in here. There we go. Then I'm going to skip that first stitch, go under the next V and do a slip stitch to close the round. I think it looks nice now I did say you know make sure you cover most of your uh, pencil case the crochet will stretch a little bit as well so that is always helpful as well so I've got here my case let's try again <laughs> so make sure you put this corner nicely around the corner of your pencil case same thing on the other side make sure the corners are well positioned there we go so I think that's okay. I am able to stretch this to where I need it to be. So I think that is fine to do it like that. Um, and that way it will be nice and tight around your pencil case. And like you see, look, with that stabilizer, when you go in it, it stays up nice and straight. So let me do the sewing. So I have here my needle with a thread in it. And I'm going to get started by going through here. So I'm going to just go through the pencil case. So I come out 
just below where this stitching is there we go and now make sure everything is in there nicely I'm going to pull up the crochet to that same height and I'm just going to come out just under the V like that and then go in under the next V and then sort of go where that stitching is come out again there we go and pull it up so you've got the next lot close by go under the V and make sure you work your way where did I come in yeah so go under the next V because otherwise it's not going to be attached and maybe come out and then immediately under the next one there so holding it in place just go through your stitches through your pencil case and sew it on look at that and so there's no need to you know do anything to the foam stabilizer because that will just stay in there so once you've got your crochet attached it will all be fine there we go and each time I just pull it up a little bit further so I can do a few more stitches there we go look at that it's even going better now I always keep getting caught behind that corner there voila so go round all the way and your pencil case will be finished or will it <laughs> that of course is the question I will see you when I have sewn on my cover onto my pencil case here So at the end here I'm just doing some stitches to secure it a little bit extra because of course I've gone all the way around. Look at that. And it's nicely around my pencil case now. So I shall just bring this inside and cut it off basically. There we go. Voila. So I really like the look of it and of course yes because of the stabilizer it's much nicer to use because it stays open like this. And of course yes I mean you know I have made a tassel. What's a project on Ophelia Talks Crochet without a tassel right? Nothing. <laughs> okay so I have used my darning needle to open up one of these rings. I've put it already into my tassel here like so and then I'm also going to put it onto here onto the zip let's hold it properly so both onto that ring and now let's keep rolling it until it's all on there there we go look at that so all I have to do now is get rid of these onto my darning needle and put them inside the tassel. Now they are a different color so I am going to cut them off short so you don't see that they are there but even that length in there is enough to secure them. So I'll do that for this one as well. Into the tassel there we go. Voila. And there we have it. My crocheted pencil case with a tassel on my zip so it is easy to open and close of course.
I hope you will enjoy making this project. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!